Today on Capitol Hill, Senators David Vitter and Mary Landrieu and Representative Bustani and myself met with Assistant Secretary Mooney and other high-ranking officials with the Veterans Administration to fight to get back on schedule the Lafayette and Lake Charles Veterans Health Clinic. I want to thank Senator Vitter for getting this meeting scheduled and Senator Landrieu for hosting it in our office. As a veteran who has wore a uniform, I have seen up close the sacrifices our men and women in armed services make in serving our country. I believe we must fulfill the commitments our nation has made to our veterans. And that's why, while others were pounding their fists on the table, complaining about the process and the fact that the process was flawed, I went to work to help solve it. At today's meeting, I offered different scenarios to help solve this problem. My solutions included both time-saving and cost-saving solutions to get the clinics back on track. I voiced the concerns and frustrations of our local veterans, and I reiterated the need for accountability and transparency from the VA. Senators Vitter and Landrieu and I were able to get the VA to commit that they would employ the quickest process allowed under law to get our clinics back in motion while maintaining stringent ethical standards. We were also able to get the VA to commit to monthly correspondence, updating the progress of the process, something I demanded in a letter last week to the secretary. Canceling the construction of the health clinics for the veterans of Acadiana because of clerical errors made by the VA is unacceptable. We have a great veterans coalition who has worked extremely hard for their fellow veterans. I thank the veterans of Southwest Louisiana for their efforts and it can, can ensure them that as a veteran myself, my staff, which has three veterans on it, will continue to do all we can to make these health clinics a reality. Getting clinics that meet the health care needs of our veterans of Southwest Louisiana has been of utmost importance to both me and my staff. Last year, I was able to get a high level, admi high level administrators from the VA to meet with the coalition to address these concerns. In that meeting, we were assured that these clinics were moving forward. It is time for accountability and action. It is time for the VA to take whatever steps are necessary to fix these problems and to get these clinics back on schedule.